Something that I've seen for a while now is how high the lesbian divorce rate is. I think it's something like 75% <laughs> divorce rate. But why I'm laughing is because how are you guys going to pin this one on men? How, how are you going to blame men for this? Because you're it's two women. From what I'm reading online, um, what women say the d reason for divorces in the same-sex marriage is domestic violence, cheating, feeling ignored, and get this one, feeling like one partner is not pulling their weight in the relationship, which is very interesting to me because you all preach, oh, men are like children, you have to take care of them, they don't pull their weight. But these are two women. So please tell me how you're going to pin this one on men. They can't. If you are a young woman who thinks that you deserve a high value man, no you don't. The truth is that unless you struggle less with a man on his way to the top, you are replaceable. No, what you should be doing is finding a good man who has integrity. You do not deserve a life of luxury unless you struggle bus with him to get there. Your game plan should be to attract the kind of man who will become the HVM that you want because you help him get there. And you do that firstly by being the kind of bait for that catch. Find a good man and be good to him and grow together. That is how to get the life that you want. That's good advice. How do you feel if your wife was to be very exposed when she's going out? If she's with me, I don't mind it that much. Yeah, but if she's not with you, going out with the girls? I mind. It's not even a thought. Yeah. Because it's not something that she, man, she, would, she would do. I respect my man. I don't do that. Because if I go out dressed a certain way, I know I'm looking for some kind of attention that I'm not looking for. I'm committed to him and only him. I don't do that. Well done. When 50 Cent said, it's easy to love me now, would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me? Um, you bitches did not feel that. When he said, if I flip burgers at Burger King, would you be ashamed to tell your friends you're feeling me? Y'all didn't feel that. When he said, would you love me in a Bentley? Could you love me on a bus? Y'all said Bentley. Y'all give Bentley. When he said, if I got locked up and sentenced to a quarter century, could I count on you to be there to support me mentally? Y'all didn't feel that. Y'all didn't feel that. Mm -mm. We got too many hit it and quit it. We got too many eight figure, nine figure, ten figure motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We got too many of y'all. Okay. Y'all don't know shit about ride or die. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Okay. Have a seat. Sit down. This just tells you that men are not the problem. If the divorce rate and domestic rate is so high between female couples compared to male and female couples or male and male couples, nothing else really needs to be said. The 304s are the problem. Women are nuts. <laughs> this should be common sense, but many 304s today don't realize this. They don't know anything. Look fellas, there are some women out there who do understand what it takes to be a decent woman. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, but hey, they are out there, somewhere. Good luck finding her without the coordinates. <laughs> These chicks don't just need to have a seat. They seriously need to go back to bed. I agree with that. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Real men of genius. Real